Hey guys and gals, this is Alex Olson with 1031 KC, where we talk about what's good and bad about different multifamily properties as they come on the market here in Kansas City and why you may or may not want to choose these for your 1031 exchange. So we've talked about it the last couple of times uh, of there not being a ton of new product coming to the market. And so let's take a look at what CoStar has for us here in the Kansas City Metro. And there's only one new property that's come on the market here in the last seven days. And this is right in the heart of Midtown. It's actually very close to my office uh, and very close to my fiveplex that I own. Uh, this is actually going to be, I believe it's 13 units. Yeah, it's 13 units for 1.3 million. So $100,000 a unit, which is a pretty dang good price considering the location. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. If you, oh, something happened there, but let's just kind of zoom back in. Hmm. For some reason, it won't really allow me to get in close. Let's see if I can now. So I'll just leave it here at this. So this is 39th and Main, essentially. There's a streetcar stop going right in at 39th and Main in 2025. So the value of this property is only going to go higher. Um, there's not a ton of photos on it. There's not a ton of financial information that I've seen on the property. So my guess is we've got some value add opportunity here. Uh, I've sold property here in this area for 120, 130 dang near $140,000 per unit. Uh, so this is something that could be of interest or should be of interest really to anybody on a 1031 exchange that's willing to get their hands a little dirty and wants to really enjoy forced appreciation by the streetcar and also because you can probably push rents pretty high here. So that's a good opportunity to look at if you're on a 1031 exchange. If you're really looking for something though that doesn't have a ton of work needed, uh, that might not be a great fit for you. But, um, you know, as far as what we've seen in the last several weeks and even the last several months, this is a, a pretty solid deal on the surface and be happy to uh, dive deeper into that with you. Okay, like I said, there's only one property here that came on the market here in the last couple of weeks in the Kansas City Metro. So let's go ahead now and skip over to uh, Zillow, which MLS powers Zillow over here. And there's two new properties. I'm going to ignore this property down here in Lee Summit because we've seen that one before. I don't know if it's a price adjustment or if they are putting out different deals um, as part of a package. So we're going to ignore this one and focus on really just this one because remember this one right here we just looked at. So then we have this $750,000 sixplex. It's all connected, all continuous sixplex here in South Kansas City. I've sold uh, 10 units down there a year, maybe it was two years ago now, um, for about $100,000 a unit. And this one's coming in at $125,000 a unit. The other difference too is the, the 10 units that I sold, they all had garages. These ones here do not look like they have garages. There's one vacant unit, as the listing says, uh, and I think that there's also some work that's been done to some of it. It's been repainted on the outside. Uh, if you're in the 1031 exchange mode and you're like, look, I want something that's, you know, six plus units, that's a standard kind of apartment complex, maybe not a ton of work, maybe only unit turns. This could be an interesting opportunity for you. I don't know. Um, you know, what rents would top out at. I know that a lot of them are three bedrooms and uh, one and a half bath. So you should be able to get a thousand plus uh, for rent on these, maybe even higher if you go with some, some better finishes. Uh, the location's probably a, a B minus location here, north of, of Grandview and south of really some of the Kansas City Metro. So it could be of interest to you. And I think I'd be willing to take a deeper dive, look at that and see how it might fit into a 1031 exchange situation. So um, it could be a couple opportunities here. And I think that's a trend that we might see moving forward as interest rates continue to rise and sellers get a little bit more in tune with what buyers are needing from a financing standpoint. Because really that's what it comes down to is 
can a property be financed uh, at a rate and a term that sellers are willing to sell it at? Because the seller might want a, you know, a ton of money for their property, but it's not worth that. In days past, when rates were in the threes, you could get around that because money was so cheap. The debt service coverage ratio was easily obtainable. So, but you being on a 1031 exchange, you can actually take advantage of this market as things continue to sit out there longer, new properties come on board because you've got cash sitting ready and willing to go and you need to buy something. So you can take advantage of the properties that are coming on board and the properties that have been out there for a while. Uh, so with that, that's everything that's come on board here in the last uh, seven days onto the MLS. I did want to talk briefly now about a few properties that we have uh, on our marketplace. And you're going to notice the location here is pretty dang similar to what you just looked at as it applies to 39th and Main. So we have this property here, this museum, 24 units, and this Broadway property up here for 42 units. Uh, this one is... 135,000, 136,000 a unit, but it's in a better location even than that 38, or sorry, than that 13 unit we just looked at. And this particular property happens to be uh, also near the streetcar line, but closer to the museum and uh, could be a, a great value for somebody who it's, I mean, it's, it is turnkey. So there's no rehab you really need to do. You can improve units as they turn but it's not going to be something that uh, you have to put a ton of work into and you can cash flow, take advantage of the location, get some great appreciation there. So it's a good opportunity for a 1031 exchange and you can't find it on the market. So your competition is going to be relatively low. So take a look at that one. And another one here, which is a Broadway 42 units, uh, again, close to the streetcar stop. You're going to see forced appreciation there. It's 42 studio units. They've been rehabbed. They've got all new windows. A lot of exterior work is completely done. The only thing that you could do, well, there is an opportunity here where you could put in some better finishes on the interior, stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, uh, some of those kind of things to really improve the property, get it top of market rents. But you can actually buy these 42 units for 70,000 units. Remember we talked about the 13 unit for a hundred thousand a unit. This is 42 units for 70,000 or so, a little over 70,000 unit. So uh, those two opportunities there, if you're looking at some of the on-market stuff, these would be at least good to compare to the on-market here with our off-market. But anytime you wanna talk about a 1031 exchange, uh, you should consider a lot of your options when you come into Kansas City because we believe that even though we don't have listings per se on these off-market opportunities, that they are going to be comparable and likely better uh, from a value standpoint, a cash flow standpoint, than what you're finding on market. So uh, again, this is Alex Olson with 1031 Exchange KC, where we talk about all the opportunities for your 1031 exchange. Even if you're not on a 1031 exchange deadline, but you're an active buyer in the Kansas City market, we still want to hear from you because there are a lot of people that are not a 1031 exchange buyer that have been active in this market and have been able to grow their wealth because of the off-market opportunities we help you with. So really appreciate you watching and hanging out with us today. Again, Alex Olson here with Exchange CRE. Have a great day.